possible by ISO and FOA. Today, I have a very beautiful and talented young lady on the show for you. And give it up for Ayesha Nathini. Hi. Hi, Ayesha. So to start with, tell me a bit about yourself. Um, so um, I'm Ayesha Nathmini and I'm 19 years old. Um, I finished schooling and I went to OK International School, Vattala. And currently I'm studying my degree in uh, Biomedical Sciences and I'm in my second year. Um, so yeah, that's about me. Yeah, Tell me about the sports journey that you're in. The sports journey, it's actually, I don't know uh, <laughs> how to start and say. <laughs> so, <laughs> starting with me doing sports was a random thing. I never thought I'll do sports. So, there's a story behind it, if I am to say it. So, uh, <laughs> grade 5, we had a school sports meet mm -hmm. and I had to take part in it. Because it was a must to take part. Oh. So, I took part in it and um, I wasn't a sport girl then. I was just a random kid who just did dancing and all of that. And then, so I had to take part in this 100 meter event. And I ran and I was the last. <laughs> I was the last. Wow. But then, I my... I mean, you said that actually. Yeah, and I was the last. So I didn't do sports. At that time, I hadn't done anything. And then my sport teachers, they saw me because I was very tall at that time. And they saw the potential in me and they thought that I could do a good job in sports. And they sent me to join the school athletics team. Oh. So that's where my sport journey started. You did know how to play gym. Yes. I'll make the first move. Mm -hmm. That was easy. You may be good at sports, but I'm good at Jenga. I told this on every episode, mm -hmm. but I kind of lost. But still, <laughs> let's see how this goes on. Sure. Very competitive. That was. <laughs> and uh, also, who is your inspiration throughout the journey? Uh, well, actually, talking about the inspiration in this journey, sorry. Oh my god, you don't have to sorry, you don't have you just have to lose. Okay, so um inspiration. I think my aunt. Because she's always telling me to go beyond barriers. There are no boundaries, you can do what you think you want. And I think she's the one who has made me this confidence in life. She has brought me this far. She has given me the freedom to do what I want and she's always pushed me forward, not only her, but also my parents, my family. They have been the biggest inspiration to come this far. And Aisha, do you think that you are given all the support that you deserve by your friends, family? Um, yes, actually, because um, without my family, I don't think I'll be able to come this far. And you know, uh, because not only mentally, but also like looking after me, making commitments for me to make, come to go for practices and after practices. So yeah, there's a lot of hard work and commitments and I think it's all not just only my journey but also everyone getting along with it and then that's where you know we have this support and I don't think I'll be able to go alone on this journey it's because of them yeah. you always need a bunch of helpful people to yes. come forward with your go this journey with you yeah you hold hands and I'm happy that it was your family oh, that was easy. Hmm. I got this I guess <laughs> and also, Ayesha, being Sri Lankans, we have some Sri Lankan problems as well. Mm. You know, we we'll yeah. say Sri Lankan problems because uh, we are in the middle of a crisis and uh, people are suffering. Yeah. Sad, very sad. People who are talented, young adults who are mm. talented, they, don't, they can't afford uh, the basic equipment. True. Uh, and how do you think about that? How, you, how do you cope with it? Because you are in the middle of it. You, in the peak. Yes. How do you cope with this? Uh, it's actually like this. There are so many talented youngsters these days. I've seen so much. Like when I've been into meets, I have met some personally and like they're so good. But I think the athletics, like the country, the government support is a must for this. If not, because there are some, those who can afford and you know, go forward. But there are also some who needs that a bit to push to come sure. forward. So I think the government should focus more on the youngsters and give them more opportunities because if they do only, they can give achievements to the country. True. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, mom, I can't wait for you to lose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was so negative, but I'm just kidding. Um,
What is your biggest achievement in life so um, far? So I've made a lot of achievements in life, not only in sports, but then also on other things I've made. And um, to talk about my recent achievement, so um, my recent achievement I made was uh, I went into a beauty contest in the leading media mm -hmm. and was able to win it. And also, oh, congratulations! Uh, <laughs> thank you. With that, I was also titled as Miss Talent and also Chavi Kalyani, which is beautiful skin. So, uh, talking about sports, I was able to achieve into best eight in John Tarpet, Junior Tarpet, which was held in Andhra the Pura when I was in schooling. So, talking about that meet, it was my first time doing javelin because my event was high jump. I was a high jumper, but then I had to undergo a spine injury while doing my practices, so I had to stop it. And then I had to do javelin, and that was my first time doing javelin through in a big weight. And then I was able to top up in the best day. Oh, so this or that, if you can't do uh, <laughs> high, jump. high jump, you would go to the javelin. Yeah. Wow. You are indeed an inspiration. I'm inspired by you. Thank to you. be honest. <laughs> You're not gonna lose. <laughs> Done a great that job. was luck yes. in hand. Let's see how it goes on me. And you just shared a physical injury. Yes. I just want to know whether you had mental adjuncts throughout this journey? Yes, actually, because uh, balancing with schoolwork and sports is not really easy. True. Because uh, something I personally have undergone through is morning, I have morning, like in the morning, I have sports practices. So once I come to school, I'm like really tired because. From morning 5 to 6, you have practices and then at 7 o'clock school starts and so you just have one hour to get ready for school. So you get ready in school and then your first period starts at 8 and you'll be dead tired and then still you have to focus. And also, sorry, <laughs> yeah, sorry. what's your school? I went to Okia International School of Oh, okay. And so, uh, when you're in the class, mm -hmm. it's not just only academics, you have other work to do as well. So then you get the blame from teachers saying you're not focusing, you're not doing much attention, giving on, you're not giving much attention on this. And then, then you you get mentally down from there and they said you have to stop sports because it's winning your academics. Mm. Eric had gone through some mental like mental downs yeah, but it. never let them you know make me stop them but kept me moving forward. Ahesha. Any advices mm -hmm. for the young adults who are waiting for the right time to um, start their journey? So, uh, right time. I think there's nothing like a right time. If you mm -hmm. think you have to do it, you should have to start it right then and there. Because uh, if your heart says you should do it and not give up, and then you should do it at that time. And um, always aim for the sky. Aim for the sky. And think beyond barriers and boundaries because we can do a lot of wonders. Trust me, if you just have the gut in you and if you're believing in yourself and if you're motivated, nothing can stop you. It's always your self-belief is what's important to move forward. And it was a fun episode with you. It was so entertaining to talk to you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and I hope the very best for you. And I'm really happy that you're here today. Thank you very so much proud. for having I'm me very, here today. I'm on a very proud sister moment here <laughs> because uh, I'm really happy for you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me today. <laughs> Wrapping it all up, a huge shout out to ISO for being our venue partner and also FOA Sue being our gift partner. We have small gifts for you. Thank you. That's a wrap for this episode. Stay tuned. See ya. Yeah, that's cool.